It didn't break. It didn't break. Everything is sad. <laughs> so is that a, was that a twist or? So I mean, I've noticed that. I've yes. seen some guys, one guy that was shown my spin, he would hold his hand. Yes. Could you boost the That's behind? Because once you turn this here, it aligns the pointer finger up with the ball. Whereas if this block fisted like this, there's nothing back here. And that's why guys now are breaking their hands. Because no one's teaching them this. But the fingers, staircase them like they're holding an object. See, like this one in further? Yes, like that. That's it. So now when you turn, you get that definitive, keep up with that, you get that definitive hope that I just twist you. Yes. Try it. Push, push in. You gotta get right on that aim, right this knuckle and that one. Ah! You felt that? I felt that. It felt like a stab. Yes, yes. Yes. That's from Mike. Uh, but once it's aligned, you'll never break the wrist. No matter how no. much. You can bag the bare knuckle. This, this is how the bare knuckle fighters fought. You hear these legends of these guys going 15, 20 rounds. How do you do that without breaking their hands? Because their hands are in position. And if you look at old pictures of them, in that second drawer in there, the, where the trophies are at, bring that, bring that book. So that, now that plus this, and you have, you have, you have, you have essentially a fencing lunge. That doesn't actually lunge. So even when I just see your bone, dude, that was carrying with this. Close the force. Now, force. that was the jab. Imagine what the straight nut feels like. And the hook, how? With the. Yes. Point your finger knuckle. Point your finger knuckle. So you're giving them the, the side. Yeah, it's, it's better here. Watch. Feel it in the meat? Yes. yes. Now imagine that there. It's like somebody seeing you in a hammer here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right over, and boom, touch it. Feel that? Now that's just something that, you know, love to, <laughs> love the old man to death. Yeah. He didn't really talk about that. They don't. Mike and Callum used to come into the gym every single day and go, what's up, And I'm like, what the? Oh. I, I told him, I was like, if you stop doing that, I'm going to sue you. Because you know what you're doing. And I can't figure this shit out. But I had to, I had to really look at it and see that he was bending his hand. Touching you with that knuckle. Yes, no. Over, and you do it right there and give me little charming horses and then be like, let's do the mitts. I, I, I and my arm is dead. I don't want to put it to race, but it was my Spanish boxing teacher that showed me this. And his thing was, I stopped him. Yes. He says, stop. 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 Yes. Stop. Yes. And then anytime he would teach you something, that's exactly, he would make sure, and these two knuckles kind of stuck out a little bit, he would make sure they kind of like. When I asked you to uppercut, I felt it. That's what I did. Now, Imagine the body snatcher. He was 5'11 and 3 quarters, 147 pounds, 8 ounce boxing gloves. Hitting people like that. That's why. That's why. He the body exactly. That's why people went away when he hit them with the body. Yes. Another thing we do that I particularly teach is we teach from fencing, from the bare knuckle days, that the head should always be slightly back and it should always look like it's moving away. Even if I throw a jab, watch how this looks visually. Yeah, that's hard for a counter punch. That's a counter punch is nightmare. It, it, it <laughs> took away like yes, you don't want to yes, punch. You don't want to but now look at it from the side. I'm not moving back at all. I'm just slightly pushing and the head sits back toward the back foot. Yes, fucks with your depth perception. Also on like a pivot. If you were to jab me a pivot, Keep an eye on my head. Tell me if it looks like my head is moving a greater distance. But it's not. This is how close we are here. Still the so I can still. It's still the punch. But, but I made you, you think I'm not. Yeah, I, so the whole sit on the back foot, that's what that's about. It's about making my guy feel like he has to reach. You see? Yes. Now you shift back and forth a lot, I noticed. So when you're here, that's a bait. That's Archie Moore called the yes. serpentine motion when you come here so you get back. But now I want you to understand the power you have once you're back. Because if you go here, and then you, you bait me, and then you go back. Now that you're back, if you hit it and keep your head back, hit it, hit it, no, hit it this way, keep your head back. Now, to me, you are way far away. 